Hello, I want to show you some things, uh, the, the power of Microsoft Windows products, even Windows 8 and 8.1. Um, the power of Windows operating systems is uh, the ability to run programs that have been developed over a large range of operating systems, you know, whether it was designed for DOS or Windows 95 or XP. Um, you can run all those things on Windows 8. 8.1. I'd like to just show you some things and sometimes you may have some problems setting up those programs. So uh, I have an example here of some possible problems you can have. Um, I'm going to start with by going to the desktop of Windows 8 and I'm going to uh, show you some tools that you can use to install um, legacy applications um, that were developed for previous Windows versions. And in this case, um, I'm actually having a problem uh, installing an application that just won't install at this moment, but I'll show you how to fix that. Um, in this case, I'm going to see if I can run this setup. Um, run the setup, select yes, and in this case, you know, the setup should immediately pop up and start running. No matter what I do, it just doesn't want to run. I can run it as administrator. That doesn't work. There are some other tools that sometimes do work. You can use this troubleshoot uh, compatibility that Windows 8 provides. When you click that, it basically detects issues and tries to implement some changes. Um, and that does work um, a lot of the times, but in this case, I'm showing an example of something that um, is not working for some reason. It, it does work on other laptops of the same type, um, but I just want to show you how to get around um, the problem. So in this case, I'm going to try the recommended settings and run the test program. Um, and in this case, again, it's not going to run. And I know that. But that's why I want to kind of show you um, some solutions uh, that you can try. So this is one solution running this program compatibility troubleshooter. Um, so if it doesn't work, um, the, the other thing to get to this, you can also select a right click and select properties. You have this compatibility tab here where you can uh, choose to run the, uh, this program in different types of modes. Um, so in this case, you can choose a lot of different choices here. Um, and I'll, I'll try this one here. I know it's not going to work, uh, but uh, I'm going to try it anyways just to show you an example of how to do this. Um, so now I'm going to double click on this program and it, it, it still is not working. Um, so just to show you an example of uh, another way to attempt to get the compatibility to work. Um, so if that also fails, um, there's some other uh, tricks you can use. Um, and I know this is not going to work either, and that's why I wanna, I'm want i making this video to show you the final step that uh, should work um, in the end. Uh, but these are uh, some good steps um, trying the compatibility um, troubleshooter. Uh, clicking properties and making choices yourself. Um, the other option is bringing up control panel. You can bring up control panel and uh, in the search window up here just type uh, 16. The 16 kind of brings up a feature here that um, Windows 8 has um, that uh, allows you to turn on features in Windows so it comes up over here on the left. Select that. And for running legacy type programs, they actually have a tab here um, or, or a selection box uh, that says legacy components. And you have this program here um, called the NT DDM or the uh, NT Virtual Device Man uh, Machine, I think is what it, uh, the abbreviation. Uh, stands for. So you can select this. Sometimes that's unselected. Uh, if you run the compatibility tests, that sometimes might get selected. 
um, or might not. Uh, I don't know every specific detail when that gets selected, but you can come in here and select that and then press OK. And what it's going to do is it should come up and say um, it's turning on a feature. I will show uh, an example of when you unselect it, what happens. Uh, so when you unselect it, it searches for um, the Basically, it's installing it. In this case, I'm uninstalling the feature. Um, so let that finish. So after it finishes the feature, um, uninstall or install, it may want you to restart. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to restart just a second. I'm just going to turn that uh, feature back on. Um, select it again. Uh, so this this will work uh, also sometimes where the programs don't run. So you can s select that box and run legacy programs, 16-bit um, applications that were designed for previous Windows versions. And that's the real power of um, Windows 8 or all Microsoft's operating systems, the, how it allows you to continue to run programs that were already developed um, and continue working without having to wait for someone to come up with a new version with, when the previous program worked perfectly, perfectly fine. So, so now uh, I'm going to go ahead and restart now and then I'll show you how to uh, one, one last step that should be the final uh, solution if none of these features or steps work. The final solution I'm going to show you if the other two don't work um, is to basically go to your change PC settings on Windows 8 and um, go and add an extra account. So add another account to your existing Windows 8 and choose this one down here. Um, it's the easiest. Just sign in without a Microsoft account. Um, make it a local account and just give it a, a name, test. You know, keep it simple, no passwords. And what's going to happen here is when you make this extra account, you're going to go to that account and log, uh, log into the account and install the program on with the same other techniques or just first just try to log, uh, install it. When you install it on the, this test account, it's also going to be installed in other users on the computer. Uh, and we'll just delete this account and then we'll have it on, on the other program. So uh, that's about it. So now I'm going to log off um, both Tech5 here we are now logged into the test account we made. And now what I'm going to do is just simply run the application that has been failing on my previous log. Click that. It will ask for the password of that other account. And then you say, oh, yes. And there you go. Starts to install the program that would not install on that Tech 5 um, the real login. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and just install everything and uh, when we're done with this go back to the Tech 5 account and the program will be installed there and now you can start using it on the Tech 5 account. And that's how you install a, uh, a troublesome application designed for previous Windows versions. Uh, this is my third technique that uh, I should do it if the others fail. And that's it. Then you can delete the test account you created, and that will go away and be deleted, and you'll have left over your account, Tech5, with the program you needed uh, installed. Thank you.